for the average of the potential energy now let me also thicken my pencil here let me use three so that it will be clearer when I write down the expression so the average potential energy V bar is equal to the integral of V e to the minus and then we have kinetic energy plus V over K Boltzmann T and then we have dq1 dot 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 dqn dq dot one dot 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 dq dot n and we have to divide by the same integral as before so let me put a constant here because that integral will simply be a constant a a is simply equal to integral e to the minus capital T plus v over k Boltzmann T dq one dot 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 dqn dq dot one dot 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 dq dot n to the minus one okay it's simple and this is a constant so when we move from the state one to the state two this a will still have to remain a constant so the distribution maybe is not normalized so it is not equal to one but it should be still equal to a constant so when we take the variation for example of this constant it will be zero because it is a constant from state one to state two something changes in our system in particular the temperature t will go to t plus a small change delta t that we also found in the expression for the kinetic energy and we are going to assume that we have a change in the potential energy from v to v plus a small change delta v like that and we also know that there is some kind of change in the average kinetic energy that we found above we can also write this as delta t bar so it's a change in the average kinetic energy due to the change in the temperature but we're not going we are not going to assume that we have a change in the kinetic energy like this without the bar but we are going to assume that we only have a change in the average kinetic energy so t does not change when we change the potential directly the kinetic energy would change if we had a change in the coordinates actually in the velocities delta x dot j this would make the kinetic energy t change okay but this is not what we are considering we are just considering a change in the temperature and this change in the temperature will allow us to say that the average kinetic energy will change from one state to the other and we are going to calculate now the change v bar 2 minus v bar 1 and we are going to assume that this change is only given by a change to the distribution to the Maxwell's distribution so we have to integrate the potential and at the state 2 we have the integral of the potential times the distribution which is e to the minus kinetic energy plus potential energy over k Boltzmann t and we can rewrite t plus v as the energy e and k Boltzmann t is 1 over beta so we can put beta here in the numerator so let me rewrite this expression like this for the sake of convenience beta times the energy e and in principle I have to multiply by all these differentials I'm not going to multiply by all these differentials for the sake of convenience okay to keep our formulas neat without all these symbols that will just make everything more untidy and I don't want it here and then we also have a small change in the distribution as I said delta e to the minus beta e which is this is just v bar 2 and then we subtract v bar 1 which is the integral of potential and then we have e to the minus beta e like this so when we take this difference we simply have that this is equal to integral v 
small change in the distribution e to the minus beta e. And also please pay attention to the fact that we also have to multiply by the constant a, here, here, and also here. That's a constant. But we have to keep, the, to keep it there because it does not necessarily equal 1. And we also know that the change in the constant is equal to 0 because it is a constant, and therefore the change in this integral, integral of e to the minus beta e, should also be 0. Let's try to find what this tells us. This tells us that we have integral of... Now, the change can also be written like this, the change integral of the change in e to the minus beta e. This can be written as minus integral beta times the change in the energy times e to the minus beta e plus integral of minus e times the change in beta which means that there is a change in the temperature, e to the minus beta e, and this should be equal to zero. Now we can also rewrite the second part as minus delta beta. So be delta beta can be put out of the integral because we have to integrate over the coordinates and over the velocities. But beta does not depend on the positions and on the velocities. So we can put it out of the integral and then E is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy. So we can also rewrite it as minus delta beta V E to the minus beta E minus delta beta integral of T E to the minus beta E like this. And now we can also rewrite the change in the energy here as the change in the potential, because as I said earlier, the change in the kinetic energy. So please pay attention to the fact that the change in T bar, which is the change in the average kinetic energy is non-zero, but the change in this kinetic energy will be zero in this integral here, due to the assumptions that we have made. And I can write, therefore, minus integral of the change in beta v e to the minus beta e minus delta beta integral of t e to the minus beta e equal to zero. So I have simply put together this integral with this integral here, where instead of delta e, I have delta v. So I can put together beta times delta v and delta beta times v like this, delta of beta v. And this is one equation. So from this equation, we have, now when we calculate this integral, we simply have the average kinetic energy divided by the constant A, if you think about it, right? This is simply T bar over A. If you think about the expression for the average kinetic energy, A is the inverse of the integral E to the minus beta E. So, you can see that the definition of t bar is simply equal to integral of t e to the minus beta e over integral e to the minus beta e, like this. So from here, we find that t bar over a times delta beta is equal to minus integral delta of beta v e to the minus beta e, like this. And now we are going to use it and in this formula here, let me show you this formula here. So we can also rewrite this as change in v. And we can rewrite this formula also if we multiply it by beta. So we have beta delta v bar equal to a integral beta v delta e to the minus beta e, like this. Now we simply have to use this expression. Let me rewrite it below. We have beta change in v bar equal to a integral beta v e, actually it's delta e to the minus beta e equal to. Now, 
we can put this delta before the integral and we also have to subtract the integral with the delta applied to this part. It's as if we use uh, integration by parts, something similar, but not quite. It's the same concept. We have a times variation of integral beta v e to the minus beta e, and then we have minus a integral delta of beta v e to the minus beta e, like this. And in place of this expression, we can put this one above. So we have that this is equal to this first part is simply delta of average beta v. And then here I have minus this expression, but using this formula, I can rewrite it as plus t bar times delta beta. And now I'm going to rewrite delta v bar here. So this is equal to beta times delta v bar, but delta v bar is equal to delta q minus delta t bar. And we can see that from an expression that we derived earlier. We derived it here. You can see that this expression can also be written as delta t bar minus delta v bar equal to delta q. So from here you can find delta v bar equal to delta t bar minus delta q, like this. And therefore, let me go below. If we put this result together, we get beta delta q equal to delta of beta v plus, and here if we put this together with this, we have delta of t bar beta, like this. But now we also have an expression for t bar. t bar is equal to n over 2 times k Boltzmann t, but k Boltzmann t is 1 over beta. Then we have to multiply this by beta, and therefore when we multiply this by beta, we get that beta times 1 over beta is equal to 1, so we have delta of n over 2, but this is a constant. So this will give us just zero. The change to that is zero. So this is equal to delta of beta v, or if you want delta of beta v bar, like this, because beta makes nothing to the average. This is the average, this bar, but when we integrate beta behaves as a constant, okay? So we can also put it out of the bar and we can also rewrite it for the sake of convenience as delta of beta v bar plus t bar. We have just seen it now that the change of beta times t bar is equal to zero. So we can add it to that expression. We can put it inside and this is simply e bar, the total energy e bar. So we have found that beta times delta q is equal to the change of beta times the average energy E. We can also rewrite it as delta q over the temperature equal to the change to the average energy over temperature, like this. And this is quite important because it shows us that when we divide the change or actually the heat by the temperature, we get a differential, an exact differential, which means that this function is a function of state because it only depends on the final state and the initial state. It will not depend on the path of integration, but in general heat, delta Q is not an exact differential. It's an inexact differential. And that means that it is not a function of state. 
it depends on the contour that we choose, on the path that we choose to integrate over. So that's very important. Now, it means that we can define the function S, which is the entropy, which is proportional to E bar over T. E, over, e bar over T, we can multiply it by a constant, okay? But we don't have to multiply it by the constant. The entropy S, or the small change in the entropy, is exactly delta Q over T. So the entropy itself will be the content of this delta here. So it's E bar over T. We can add something to this entropy, which will be, of course, constant with respect to this change. And in general, we might have some energy E0 that I will describe in a moment. So remember that in general, we know that 1 over A, which was that constant from before, it's the integral of e to the minus e over k Boltzmann t, right? And we can define this to be e to the minus e0 over k Boltzmann t. So when we integrate this integral, this not, does not necessarily equal 1, as I said. So we can define it as e to the minus e0 over k Boltzmann t. So it will be, of course, positive because we are integrating positive quantities here. And this is how we define it. So from here, we can find that E0 is equal to minus K Boltzmann T natural log of integral E to the minus E over K Boltzmann T, like this. Okay? So this means that in this case, we have integral of E to the minus E over, sorry, E minus E0 over k Boltzmann t equal to 1. And then we have the change in e bar minus e0 over t. That's equal to delta q over t because the change in e0 over t is equal to 0. We can easily see that from the expression of e0. If we divide this expression by t, we will get rid of this. So we have e0 over t equal to this. This is a constant, and the logarithm of this integral will also be a constant, because this integral is equal to 1 over a, which is a constant. Remember that. So the change of e0 over t is equal to 0, and we can put this e0 over t inside this parenthesis because the change of this is also equal to the change of e bar over t, which is equal to heat over temperature here, just like that. And all in all, if we define this as the entropy, and we can, because it's inside this uh, differential, this uh, small change and the small change in the entropy is exactly equal to dq over t as the entropy is usually defined. Therefore, s is equal to e bar over t and then we have minus e0 over t. But e0 over t is equal to this. Therefore, we can also rewrite it as plus k Boltzmann natural log of integral e to the minus e over k Boltzmann t dq1 dot 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 dqn. Now I'm going to put back the differentials. Then we also have dq1 dot 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 dqn dot. And this is the final expression that I wanted to derive. It's also an expression derived by Einstein in one of his articles on thermodynamics.